In this nail tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this half moon manicure that's very festive for the Christmas or for Christmas. And I really like how it turned out. I think most everyone um, likes the candy cane manicure, but I put a twist on it by doing a half moon manicure with it. And I think it looks really yeah. interested in seeing how I completed this manicure. Then please continue to watch. So the first thing I used was Revlon Nail Polish in Rainforest. And it's just a forest green with lots of glittery shimmers in there. And it's a really nice, um, beautiful green color. And I have two coats of that already prepped on my nail. Along with my base coat. So that's done. And the other colors I'm going to be using also um, French Tip Guides. The uh, regular French tip there. You can find those at Sally's, Walmart, you know, Walgreens. Lots of places sell them. I used a striper polish, a white one. I used Orly's Monroe's Red polish for the stripes to begin with. To end on the stripes, I used Ellie Colors Aztec Orange. And it's just a very shimmery, uh, very pigmented red. And for the half moon to have some hollow glitter on there, I use Clean Colors Hollow Green. It's just a holographic nail polish down there. And along with all this, I use three brushes. The e.l.f. concealer brush to clean up afterwards. The, um, this is just a random nail art brush from eBay. It's a long striper. Use that one. And I use this one from Born Pretty Store, the Quadruple Zero brush. So number four. And it looks like that. It's a striper brush, but it's, in comparison to this one, you can tell the difference. Start by... Start by placing your French tip guide you will also need a white nail polish so I forgot to mention that but once you have your tip guide placed then you're gonna go in with a white nail polish of your choosing this is from hard candy no name came with a Christmas set I'm going to apply two coats of that. I'm going to allow time for that to just get tacky enough, like almost dry, and we're going to peel off the French tip sticker, and that's going to create the half moon manicure. Now, if you like the half moon manicure, you can leave it like that with the white and the green. It looks really pretty. I was almost tempted to leave it like that myself, but I really wanted to do this um, for Christmas. I want to address that when you pull the sticker off, it always it doesn't always work out to your advantage. Um, because last night, my green polish I thought was completely dry, and apparently it wasn't, and it ripped some of the polish off with it. So what I did was I just took the green color and very carefully went in and filled in the spots that it ripped up. So that's an option. So you don't have to redo your complete manicure just because some of the polish was ripped up but it came out really nicely here dripping some of the Monroe's red oily polish onto any kind of paper um, and getting the long striper brush here and I'm going to make stripes candy stripes Ok, 
Okay. So really easy, simple. You don't have to use brush like this. If you have strapper polishes and red and stuff, use those. And I don't fill in right away. Like, I make a solid stripe. Because I try to keep the cleanup um, less as I can. And then one more. I try to fit at least three straps on each now. Okay. Just like that. Drip some of your holographic nail polish. It doesn't have to be a green one. It can be any color you choose. Um, just as long as it kind of goes with the manicure. You know you don't want some wild color. Um, and I'm going to take the other striper brush get in that in the brush and I'm going to fill in the moon the half moon down there except not like opaquely like I, you don't want it opaque you just want it to where you can see the holographic glitter in the sun and stuff the Aztec orange from LA colors onto the envelope as well don't need much we're only doing one nail well for me anyways and get that on your little striper brush the smaller of the two and fill in over top of the Monroe's red as far as cleanup goes um, you can take your concealer brush which is only a dollar Put in acetone, clean up the around on your skin if you got anything there, which I do. But um, another cleanup is to clean up your stripes a little bit if you messed up. And I'm just going to show you how. There's a little spot I'm not happy with, so I'm going to show you how to just clean it up with a white striper. So it makes it really easy and you come out with really good looking stripes. So... Just take it along the edges and clean up your stripes. But now you definitely all you want to do is let it your manicure completely dry and remember to seal in your design with a top coat of some kind for lasting results. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you guys for watching.